I'm going to cover. My purpose is not to change your religion. My purpose is not to uh, make you believe everything that I say. On the contrary, I'm the only one in the world that will tell you, listen to everyone, read everything, believe absolutely nobody, including me. are now telling CNN that the fugitive ex-policeman Christopher Dorner is dead. Anderson Cooper is joining us now with the very latest. Anderson? Yeah, Wolf, it has been a very dramatic end to a dramatic manhunt. A body has been removed from a burning cabin outside of Big Bear, California. Now, authorities say it is the body of former LAPD officer Christopher Dorner, who was thought to be holed up after a gunfight with law enforcement that left one deputy dead. Let's listen to hear what Commander Smith has Good to say. Good evening again. I'm Commander Andrew Smith. I'm the commanding officer of media relations and community affairs for the Los Angeles Police Department. I have a couple quick announcements and quick updates. First of all, let me say that the, the hearts of all the Los Angeles Police Department, Chief Charlie Beck and the men and women of the LAPD family go out to the San Bernardino County Sheriff's tonight. We know they suffered a tragic loss. We know what it's like to lose a fellow officer and it breaks everyone's heart to know what those poor officers and their families are going through tonight. So on behalf of the Los Angeles Police Department and Chief Charlie Beck, our deepest sympathies go out to the uh, San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department for their loss tonight. I want to clarify a few things about the incident that occurred in San Bernardino with respect to the shootout and the, the burning cabin that's been out there. First of all, this is a San Bernardino County Sheriff's investigation. They have the lead on this particular part of the investigation. San Bernardino County Sheriff suffered the loss when their deputies tried to take this individual into custody, and they will be conducting the follow-up investigation into that incident. I'd like to clarify some information that has been put out there, or rather some misinformation that has been put out there. I just got off the phone with the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department. That cabin is still too hot for anybody to make entry. There has been no body located inside of that cabin. That cabin has not yet been searched, because the fire is still too hot as of five minutes ago for anybody to go into there. Any reports of a body being found are not true. A Christopher Dorner has been removed from the burn cabin outside Big Bear. No body has yet been found in there. Any reports that that body has been identified as Christopher Dorner are not true. No Authorities say it is the body of former LAPD officer Christopher Dorner who body has been identified uh, and nobody's been located. Authorities are now telling CNN that the fugitive ex-policeman, Christopher Dorner, is dead. Um, I'm not sure where this information is coming from and how it got attributed to the Los Angeles Pol Police Department. This is the official point of reference for LAPD, so your information should be coming out of the Joint Information Center here. Fish and Game official, is that correct? He made the initial spotting of Christopher Dorner. 
That's correct. And then uh, we called law enforcement. It was confirmed that there was gunfire. Who it was, uh, we don't know at this point. We believe it was Ronnie, the limo driver, firing at Mr. Donner, and uh, we believe that he hit him. And, Mr. Teller, you say uh, Ronnie, the limo driver? Yes, ma'am. Ronnie, the limo driver. Ronnie Mund. Uh, he was on his way to a block party, and uh, he uh, got caught in a fight out. Fire out. And it's your impression that one of the uh, fish and game wardens was the first person to spot Christopher Dorner? You're a real dumbass. You still don't know that this is a prank? Now, in all the confusion during the search for Dorner, LAPD officers opened fire twice overnight, thinking they had Dorner in their sights. Both happened in Torrance, and in both cases, innocent people were in the line of fire. This evening, a Torrance neighborhood was sealed off hours after LAPD officers mistakenly opened fire on this royal blue Toyota Tacoma. The shooting left 47-year-old Margie Carranza with minor injuries to her hand after glass shattered on it. Her mother, 71-year-old Emma Hernandez, is in intensive care at Harbor UCLA Medical Center and listed in good condition after being shot in the back. Tonight, the women asked their new attorney to speak to us. Also this morning, just blocks away, a second officer involved shooting happened. In this case, Torrance police opened fire on this black Honda truck as they were rushing to help with the first shooting. Tonight, the driver of this truck is also talking to attorneys as well. He was driving down the road when he encountered a Torrance police officer who asked him to turn around. In that process, as he was turning around, a second police car rammed his car, he says, and then opened fire, narrowly missing him after bullets flew through his windshield. There was, there was no warning. There was no order or no commands, just gunshots. Tragically, we believe that this was a case of mistaken identity by the officers. See? And I'm telling you, don't believe me unless in your own research you can prove what it is that I'm telling you. Because this is the age of deception. And if you don't believe that, you might as well go home right now because you're in the wrong place. This is the age of deception.